Good morning, and welcome to day two here in Texas. I just want to call this, uh, the, the early parts of these videos, Confessions from Not My Bed here in Texas. I really want to say a couple things, and if you're from Texas, this is not like a bash on Texas. This is a true and honest statement for people that haven't been to Texas, but for more importantly, this is for people that are like, maybe I wanted to go do what you're doing. Maybe I want to go out hunt access deer, and I think you guys should. This is a super easy hunt to book or not even book, but like to plan. You don't have to come with an outfitter. You don't have to come to a ranch. You could hunt access deer 365 days a year without a tag here in the state of Texas, which is cool. You just need to know somebody that has some property because reason why, I don't want to get this wrong, but from what I understand, 98% of the state of Texas is private property. I don't think that knocking knocking on doors is out of the question here in Texas anymore. But you do need to know somebody that has some some property that will, will allow you to hunt. What I want to say is Texas is a very, very crazy place. When you get down here and they start explaining things to watch out for, not to do, not to get into, there's so many. Rattlesnakes are a big thing, which you guys know I'm not a giant rattlesnake fan. Don't get bit by the rattlesnakes. There's a lot of them. They're big. Chiggers. Don't walk through tall grass. There's these little bugs that will bite you and cause you a lot of pain. I believe I got into chiggers yesterday because I woke up and my body has all these tiny little bumps on it now. My arm is super irritated. My belly. So I don't know what happened there. I think it's chiggers. The next thing is ticks and it's kind of a big one. We have ticks in Idaho. And I've heard of them and I've had them. Yeah, they carry disease, which is like Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Lyme's dis disease. But a new one here they just threw upon me was some of these ticks, they, they call them, there's a, a specific type called the Lone Star Tick, has one single dot on its back, and it's very, very rare, so let me say that, but this tick can carry this disease that causes you to become allergic to red meat. You are out here hunting for red meat, you get a tick on you, and like I said, it's one in a bazillion, was what they told me, and it can give you an allergy that you become allergic to red meat. That's new for me. So we have rattlesnakes, we have chiggers, we have ticks that can cause you to become allergic to some of your favorite things in the world. Kind of a biggie. And then last night, Ryan Callahan's telling me that he wants to catch a armadillo and put it on the grill. And I'm like, great idea because they're not that smart because I just chased one down the road and you could definitely catch one. We're driving back to the headquarters where we're right now and Ryan makes that statement in front of the guy and he says, oh yeah, by the way, you don't want to handle an armadillo because it can give you leprosy. What? That's like a biblical disease that wiped out millions of people. By the way, you can get that from an armadillo. Well, here we are in Texas, day number two. We are gonna go to a spot and stock access hunt. I'm gonna pack my bow today. Texas, you're a crazy place. I love you, but you are a crazy place. Oh, 
hoping that we can kind of go like this and parallel them. And uh, ideally they're coming to this water up here and we can ambush them.
doesn't run a uh, private ranch doesn't mean that uh, other people can't screw up. We don't know who that guy was that just drove by. Oil over. worker, probably. Oil worker. So this ranch is obviously uh, doesn't has oil on it, so there's oil workers in here. We had probably one of the biggest bucks from the week right here, 15 yards. It was a good setup, but I got turned. There was a little buck in front of him. I got turned. If he would have kept on the same trail, it would have been an 8-yard shot. But, uh, Right when he got right there, he truck drove down like literally 20 yards by him. <laughs> it happens, man. Just want to say thank you for watching episode two of the Texas Axis Deer Semi Life series. If you watched the shot closely, you probably have a pretty good idea of the outcome. Once we got back to camp, we played the footage on a laptop, a little bigger screen, and it was very clear to all of us that the deer obviously jumped the string, causing the shot to be really high, and the arrow just penetrating underneath his skin, which caused the arrow to flip up in the weird angle it was sitting when he ran away. We found one drop of blood, and no arrow, no blood, no deer. Pretty bummed about it, not gonna lie. But it's hunting, it happens. If you want, go click on the link in the description to watch the Hunting Collective podcast Ben and I did while we were down in Texas talking about successes and failures in the field. It's a great podcast, a great listen. Go listen if you want. If you guys missed episode one, hit the video there on the right hand side. Episode three will be up tomorrow, and it's a good one too. Thanks as always for watching. Go subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.